Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am very excited for this video. Something I've never tried before and hopefully something you guys have never seen. I bought this gorgeous, stunning witchy medallion mold from Amazon. They come with the loops, but we are not gonna be keeping those loops. We're gonna be chopping them off because we've got other plans as well. So this mold, like I said, is from Amazon. It's gonna be linked below in my Amazon storefronts. Now. Next up, we're going to be using glitter. We want these to be very, very enchanting, very witchy. These glitters were sent to me by Resin Supplies Den. So that's Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den. She is the glitter supplier for that Facebook page. So I'm gonna link Resin Supplies Den down below. These are some beautiful purples and blacks. And I just asked her for like Halloween specific colors. She did not disappoint. Oh my gosh, some of these are absolutely stunning, including this ebony, super sparkly. Next up, she sent me some really kind of fun, cutesy, um, holographic black spiders. I tend to call these sequins or like table glitters, but yeah, you can call them glitters as well. This emerald green is absolutely perfect for your real bright, colorful, fun Halloween. We've got some black and guys, check this out. Yvonne told me she was doing this, but I did not expect to receive it. This is a custom glitter mix in the shades of the blue silver, perfect for oceans and I guess any time of year. And she's named it Claire. She's named it Claire, dedicated after me. Dedicated after me? Named after me. Anyway, how amazing is that? We've got some gorgeous, tiny, teeny miniature moons and stars, and then we've got some black bats. So I'm not using all of these in today's video, but I am definitely going more down the darker black and purple route. Ooh, that was not the end. I'm getting ahead of myself, which is brew. Guys, check this out. This is a custom made mix specifically from Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den with all of the Halloween colors. Now this is the Let's Resin Fast Cure. This is the first layer going in. So this is their four hour demold. Again, when you use a fast cure resin, it just helps you create a whole project in one day. And this is perfect for what I need. I really just want to fill up these medallions and get them out so that I can then put them into another mold and carry on with the project. So I've not mixed up too much resin. These medallions will not take that much resin. Obviously, I've made a bit too much and in typical Claire style, I don't know, do I always make too much resin? Pretty much, yeah, who am I kidding? Um, yeah, I did make a little bit too much, but I do always have other molds on the side. If I make too much resin, I can just pour that resin into some other molds. Now, as you see here, I've just created four different pots of resin and into those four different pots is going four different shades of glitter. These are absolutely beautiful glitters and perfect for Halloween. And I guess, you know, all year round, depending on your color aesthetic, but so, so gorgeous. And so many different bits in there. Let me know in the comment section what your go-to color scheme is for Halloween. Are you like me and you like the purples, the blacks, the dark tones, real macabre? Or do you like the bright, fun, colorful reds, oranges, whites, purples, and all of that jazz? But here I am just creating four completely different ones. And of course I need to use the Witch's Brew. The Witch's Brew is a stunning mix. Check this out, it's got every Halloween color all in one glitter and it is beautiful. Now I am gonna speed this section up for you because I was really taking my time. I'm just using these tiny little mixing pots, perfect for something like this. They have a gorgeous little kind of detailed spout. So when you have to get resin into narrow, I guess narrow molds like this, detailed molds, they are really, really helpful. Like I said, speeding this up for you because you do not need to watch this in real time. I really was trying to be neat. I know, <laughs> don't all pass out at once, but I was trying to be really neat. I want these medallions to be as crisp as possible with very little overspill. And I'm not pouring any resin into the loops. And that's intentional because the chances are it will flow in there anyway, but we are actually cutting them off. They're not gonna play a role in this project whatsoever. Now, bottom middle one you can see there with the cross in the center, I actually don't end up using that. I kind of
kind of fell in love with the openness of the stars and the Celtic knot and the, is it the Star of David and the witchy star? Yeah, I kind of fell in love with those ones and the bottom, this one here and the one on the left, not for me. That They are not going to be a part of this video. I had leftovers, believe it or not, so I put it into the Let's Resin Skulls. Now guys, this is where it all went absolutely tragically wrong. This is the first time ever in the four years of using resin that this has happened. Ay, 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 can you spot the mistake? I mixed part A and A together. Now, I have no reasons to why I did that. I just turned around to where my resins are on the shelf, simply grabbed the bottles, wasn't really focusing and started mixing. And honestly, I even showed them both on camera at the beginning to say, this is the resin I'm using. So if you were watching thinking, but Claire, that's part A and A, I hope you don't mix them together. Oh yes, I did. Yes, I did. Anyway, I'm showing you this. I'm showing you this because this is the first time I've ever done this. Trust me, I've made mistakes with resin before. I've had plenty and exothermic reaction, but this is the first time I have ever accidentally mixed both parts together, which of course is going to result 24 hours later in a hot, sticky, gloopy, uncured mess. And I spent around about an hour and a half to two hours using 99% isopropyl alcohol, scooping all of the resin out. So if this does happen to you, it's not great. It's not the end of the world though. Isopropyl alcohol, lots and lots of it, wet wipes, cotton buds. Guys, it's not ideal to be wasting resin, but it happened and I made the best of the situation and I cleaned up as best I could before doing another pour. Now, I did not film the second pour on camera, but the only difference I did make is that I mixed the colors up. So instead of just pouring, well, apart from this one, <laughs> apart from this one, instead of just pouring one single glitter color per medallion, I mixed them up. So I went with different purples and the um, witch's brew again, and I just wanted a little bit more variation in the medallions, and it's worked out pretty well. Now, I decided to demold these before they were fully 100% rock hard, because that's just gonna make it easier to trim off the loops. Now, you can use a craft blade, or you can use scissors, whichever works best for you. I just grabbed my scissors just to make it super easy, get them off, chop them off, and don't worry too much about marks that are left on your medallions because the resin is going to cover them up beautifully. It is time to take our medallions and elevate them, bring them up to the next level. I'm going to be using this new mold from Molds and Shapes. This is their nine segment pendant mold absolutely perfect for it. Of course I have to clean it with tape before I use it because I am a little bit tragic, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's like having to clean the kitchen just before you make dinner because you left the plates from the night before, but hey, that is me. I'm just making sure they all fit and this is when I asked for the support of my patrons. So over on my Patreon page, I sent them photos of what I'd made already. I asked them all to vote and I said, whatever the majority vote comes back, that is the color that I will go with the background. The majority vote came back as green. So I figured, hey, we won't just go with one green, we will create as many greens as we can. We have got the Sage Green from Just View Online. We've got the Green Fury Powder from Just View Online. We've got the Vista Dark Green Liquid Pigment. We've also got the Black Mica from Just View Online. So we're kind of gonna do a bit of a mashup, have a play around with the colors, making sure that we get all the different greens. And I am not forgetting that glitter. I've put it right by the side so that I can kind of toy, you know, kind of like, am I going to use it? Basically, I wasn't sure at this point if the glitter was going to actually feature. Now, when I do videos on my channel, I really do try as much as I can to take you through step by step. But I am also aware that 
A, we've got people watching, like some of my friends here have been doing resin for years, might not necessarily appreciate the step-by-step, -step, but I have got so many friends here who have just started resin. So let me know which you prefer. Would you like me to just skip over things, miss things out? I don't want to assume that people that are watching me know everything that I'm doing. Uh, so I really do like to explain in detail. Let me know which you prefer in the comment section down below. Okay, top left, we have got the Just View Online Mica Powder. And we've used the exact same powder, but we've added a little bit of black for the top middle, just to make it darker. And it's given us this absolutely gorgeous, darker shade of resin. Now, the Vista pigment is unbelievable. I absolutely love Vista liquid pigment, but, <laughs> but part of me wishes I, maybe added a bit of mica in there to give it a bit of a shimmy shimmy because the mica has this magic about it mica powder it's like it brings everything into some kind of three-dimensional magic and sometimes pigment pastes well they are they just block colors so definitely if i was to try this again i would go down the mica route as opposed to the block color pigment pastes don't get me wrong stunning stunning colors now we are not filling these up at this point because we still want to add our medallions in so i've really just filled them up a third and then given them a generous spray of the isopropyl now it was at this point guys oh my goodness me it was at this point we've come back this is a two hour cure resin so around about an hour and 50 to two hours after pouring i'm hoping it's going to be sticky enough to stick our medallions in so we don't need resin we're just gonna shove them in stick them in and hopefully they'll stick and then I thought wow do you know let's try some mirror card let's try some mirror card I've got this DC fix mirror card I've had it years years and years and years from the beginning of my channel when I used to do Halloween crafting good old-fashioned hot glue gun crafting and I used to do a lot of mirrors in my apothecary work I've still got a bit left and I thought, mm, would it work? Would the resin destroy it? Let's have a play and we can learn together. I then went onto YouTube to try and find videos using this mirror paper. So it's basically a sticky back mirror card. Um, so again, wasn't sure if it would work. I didn't know if it would react with the resin. Would the resin seep in? This is another sign from the universe, guys. <laughs> I decided to go for it and as I was pushing it in, oh my gosh guys, I couldn't even make it up. I genuinely couldn't make it up. Well I could, I mean it's Claire's Crafty Corner for goodness sakes. So I've pushed the mirror in. The one on the right, I've I've literally dug, I've dug my knuckles into it while I was trying to push the centre one in. So I was like, why? <laughs> why can't things just be straightforward? but everything happens for a reason. I am telling you, I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And this was definitely the resin gods. This was the resin universe saying, Claire, you have to do something. You've already messed it up. You need to try and fix it. We're going for a hammered metal effect in resin. Again, I've never seen it before, never tried it before. We're gonna try it today and see how it works out. So first off, we're using the mirror card. Never tried it, cannot find any videos on it. We're gonna see if the resin reacts to it. Second up, we're gonna try a hammered metal. Now, if you don't know what hammered metal is, it's pretty much what you see me doing here. It's when someone gets a sheet of silver and bashes the life out of it to create the most stunning, rippled, battered, <laughs> battered, hammered, <laughs> hammered, metal effect it's one of my favorite kind of jewelry if i had any jewelry with a hammered metal obsessed absolutely obsessed or even homewares um so you saw me start off with the back of a paintbrush it wasn't really working so i dipped the paintbrush into some mica because obviously we want different shades now if i just hammer this with no other color then the resin I pour on top, it's just going to hide all the hammering. It won't work. So I have to add another color, another element. Once we add resin on top, we'll still see it. Okay, so I dipped the back of the paintbrush into the mica, but the resin was still 
quite sticky at this point and it really wasn't working. So I used a rubber, I used the end of a pencil and I used the rubber to dip into the mica to create my hammered metal effect. Now at this stage, honestly, you can see right here, look at, look at, you see, it's sticky, but it's bouncing back. So it's getting to the point now where if you do hammer it, it, there's a chance, there's a risk that I've left it a little bit too late and the resin is going to self level again. And I could already see that top left, mm, all of my dents, all of my divots were almost coming back flat. So I really went in again with this tool. This is like a resin stirring stick in the shape of a hand super denty like I really really shoved it down in to get even more of a detailed hammered metal effect and at this point bottom left it was too late it was too late I was trying to hammer metal effect but the resin was not budging not budging at all so it was at this stage I asked my patrons again do I add the glitter do I not it was definitely more of a bigger divide this time a couple of people said yes glitter all the way a couple of people said absolutely not don't do it but there was no real majority or strong feeling that I shouldn't add glitter so I decided to add glitter onto just a couple of them I didn't want to add glitter onto all of them just a couple in the same way that I was deep down secretly nervous that using the mirror card would just give me yet more fails, yet more failures. So I put the mirror card on three and left the other two without it. And I put the glitter on three and left two without it. I then used the UV resin to stick the glitter down in, cured that for 200 seconds. And then it was time to fill these babies up after what felt like a month. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. You know, sometimes when you make a resin mistake, like mixing part A and A, I, I was honestly disappointed that I'd done it. And I felt almost like I must have been on another planet at some point because at what point did I not notice that those two bottles look the same like honestly it does make you want to quit it makes you want to stop and just not do any more but I was determined I was absolutely determined it took me forever to clean them but we are here we are here on the home straight it's time to fill them up now to fill them up I am using the just for you online resin that is ideal for coasters super clear crystal clear my biggest concern right now is that those powders that I've used to create a different shade in the hammered metal effect, that they're going to float up and into the resin. So because I dug it down into sticky resin, I was kind of hoping it would just stay and I wouldn't have an issue. But that was also a concern. But guys, next day, 24 hours later, the mirror card has worked. The mirror card has worked. We have actual usable mirrors. <laughs> yes, it's mirror card. It is the DC Fix. Everyone will know this brand. They do all of the sticky back vinyls. You, you know, you can cover your worktops in them, cover your shelves in them, or wrap your books in them. This is the mirror version, and it is a clear, crystal clear mirror. You could fix your makeup with your key ring. Guys, this one here is hands down one of my favorites. This was the original. Oops, I've just dented it with my hand. What am I going to do to salvage this? I know, let's try something new and try a hammered metal effect in the resin. And it has worked a dream. This one, I am afraid to say, is severely lackluster. This is my least favorite. However, the mirror has worked. So I'm okay with it. You know, it was one of those things that was a huge risk, but you can see me here. You can see my mouth and my nose and I'm waving. It is a fully functioning mirror in a key ring. Now, of course you can put actual glass mirrors in resin. People have done that before. Um, and you can smash mirror up and put smashed mirror in resin. But this is such a easy, safe, super crafty way of doing it. And we have got 
actual mirrors. These are so beautiful. Now this one here um, is the biggest mirror. Again, it's a fully functioning mirror. Like I said, you could fix your makeup. But we did have some of that mica. I used the floating silver pigment powder from Just View Online. Um, some of that floating powder did come up in, you see me there? <laughs> did come up into the resin. I mean, it is floating pigment powder. It has not taken away from the piece. I have to say, if I was to pick a favourite, which is insane, there's no mirror in this one. But this one here, it, it, there's something about it. It reminds me of an enchanted forest in some way. Can't explain it. I absolutely love it. The hammered metal effect is definitely a technique that will take some practice. You have to get the resin at the right time. If it's too sticky, your tool is just going to stick to the resin and yank the resin out. If it's, if it's kind of too cured, the resin won't dent. So there's definitely a window of opportunity in which you can create this hammered metal effect. And my advice would be pour it into a separate spare mold and just keep checking it. Just keep checking it, going up every half an hour, depending on the resin you're using. This was a two hour cure resin that I used here. So really I knew my window wasn't massive, but if you, if you have to use a 24 hour cure resin, I would definitely recommend going up after around 12 to 15 hours and creating your hammered metal effect. There is a small window of opportunity in which to get it right. So I do appreciate that. But the mirror card, oh my goodness me. Like for me, again, I'm not sitting here saying that I've created these two techniques. No, not at all. I am sure there are plenty of videos out there using the DC Fix mirror card and creating a hammered metal effect in resin. I just haven't seen them. So if you have seen videos on it, please let me know who the creator is and I will go and check them out. So again, I'm not claiming these to be mine, but I've never seen these before. So I hope you love them. I'm definitely going to try this out again. I personally think it would look stunning if I used a black resin and a silver um, mica. So you've got that real dark base, but then you're creating your hammered effect with the silver mica powder on top. For me, I think that would give the most true kind of replica of a hammered metal design. I love these. I think they are super fun, super witchy. There's one I don't like at all. I honestly also would probably leave out the glitter next time so that that hammered metal effect can really shine through. Everything worked despite the absolute resin disaster at the beginning perseverance is key and if you can just walk away from the craft room take a deep breath go and have a cup of tea and just gather your thoughts and know that this feeling of frustration this pure I cannot believe I just did that I cannot believe that happened pure frustration that makes you want to quit just take a breath take a breath it's all okay that feeling is very very temporary and then go back into your craft room with fresh eyes, start again, clean up and start again. And I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love these. I am fully, fully obsessed with that top middle. Like I cannot get enough. I cannot wait to try this again. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried the mirror fix, um, the mirror in resin. And definitely if you have, go over to my discord and share your photos because I would love to see them. Thank you so, so much. If you've been here in the live chat, this is another long video, but I appreciate you all massively. I will see you in the next one. Bye.